Hello and welcome back to Presenter Media Fans. My name is Kara. Today we're taking a look at bookmarking a video in PowerPoint 2010. This is specific to PowerPoint 2010. 2007 is not able to have this capability. What bookmarking is, is setting up specific animations to play at certain points of a video. Now in the past, you could do this to a certain extent by having animations come in at a certain delay. However, if your video ever changed or if you did decide to pause your video at any given point, your animation is going to play regardless of what the state of the video was. So PowerPoint really stepped up and they took the initiative to create the bookmark feature on the video backgrounds and on the videos you can insert. When you have a video selected in PowerPoint, you can see certain dots in place and that's only if bookmarks have been created. Now when we mouse over them, you can see where it says bookmark 1, 2, 3, and 4. Each of these text boxes correspond with one of those bookmarks. Now this is using the trigger feature for PowerPoint 2010, and this means when that bookmark is reached, that's when it cues that text box to come in. So let's go ahead and create another video. And this one we're going to set up with some new text boxes and I will show you how to get that all set up and show you what it looks like when you play it. Alright, so here we have our presenter media tab in the background. Let's get signed in. We're going to go ahead and grab one of our video backgrounds. Just find one that has some nice movement in it that we're going to be able to time everything with. All right, so we have our video. Now notice how it's moving back and forth. Let's go ahead and insert that. Now it is going to ask if we want it to start automatically or if we want it to loop until it's finished. We don't want to use either of these particular cases. We've inserted our video. The next thing is to insert our text boxes and determine when we want them to come in and where we want them to appear. So let's go ahead and insert a text box. And we're just going to call this text box 1. Nothing too fancy. And we're going to make the text inside of that white because this is a pretty dark video here in the background. Let's change the background color of our picture to something that's a little bit closer to that purple. All right. So now let's play the video and we'll determine where we want items to come in at. So right now, I want the text box to appear in this upper right hand corner as it becomes available. So let's play and we will pause it right there. And now we're going to go to the playback option on our video tools and click add bookmark. So this bookmark is going to be in place on the video now and we'll be able to use that as a trigger for when that text box comes in. So we know it's going to be roughly right over in this spot right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab the text box and drag it into that general area. Let's increase the size of the font a little bit and get it put in. Next we go to our animations and it gives the text box an animation effect. The reason you do this is because it has to have an animation in order for the bookmark to trigger anything to happen. So we have the box selected. We're going to select trigger now after we've added an animation. And notice how it gives you the option to use a bookmark. So we want that to enter on bookmark number one. Now to be able to see this and be able to confirm that this is actually playing the way that we would think of it, we're going to go ahead and just move through to our next slide and play this video. And notice how that text box comes in. Now if we want it to leave, we need to set up a second bookmark. So the point when we would no longer want to be able to see that text is right about there. Just as it's getting to the point where the dominoes will go over it. So we're going to insert another bookmark on our video. And now the text box, we're going to give it an exit effect or an exit animation and we're just going to use the fade and again we're going to use the trigger but this time we'll use bookmark number two. So going back through this, 
here we'll have bookmark number one showing up and two taking it away. And you can continue to do this all the way through the video. You can see all these various points when you'd easily be able to have text come in. And something that's really great when you do use the bookmark feature is that if you are playing the video and you have your first text box come in, you can pause it. You can talk about whatever the content is that you want to talk about. And if you end up having something that takes a little bit longer than you anticipate, it's not going to throw off the video or the animations. When you're ready to continue, you just simply click again and the video will continue playing as you originally anticipated. This has been a tutorial showing you how to use bookmarks in videos for PowerPoint 2010. Again, my name is Kara with Presenter Media. Thanks for watching.